Good morning. This is Joyce, and it is time for another Saturday morning challenge of friends. Yes, Happy New Year, everybody. We have been missing. We took some time off, but we are back. And hey, it's almost Valentine's Day. It's almost my birthday, but this today we're focusing on Valentine's Day. Um, we are calling our challenge, You Hold the Key to My Heart. We had to use, there were some specifics, we had to use the We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. Now, I have owned this thing for, I bet you six months or more, and never used it. I took it out the package. I don't know why I thought it would be so hard. I hadn't used it. It was like, oh, I ain't used it. It's going to take me a long time to learn how to use it. It is one of the most, this is one of the simplest, easiest ones to use, honestly. Um, yeah. So, if you got it, give it a try because it is not hard to work. It is is simple and I plan to use it for much more so we had to use that and we were making an album it had to have six pages plus your covers front and back and you had to use a key well you know me I got keys for days I pulled out some stuff and the key that I use comes from this package which is the recollections um, embellishment and it had a more of a gray silver key but it was bling so I used that I didn't use that I used some of this black um, bling from Recollections and I bought it on clearance in the Halloween section and I got it because it's black and that don't mean Halloween I use some of this holographic uh, heart paper and I'm not sure where I buy, bought this but it's called Hearts Red Holographic um, 2013 hot off the press ink that's what it's from but it doesn't have a sticker or anything to say where I actually bought it but and I honestly don't remember but I've had it forever never used it I used some of the flowers from here from this is from the record um yeah I think I got these at our record at no I got these at Hobby Lobby I think I used one of these lips which was in my um stash when I went in Hobby Lobby the other day I picked up these embellishment packages from um Mambi maybe no let me, I can tell you because the trash is still here. It is, yeah, it's me and my big ideas. Soft spoken. I picked up three. They were a dollar each. And, let me look at the trash. Out there. So, I used, I opened all of those, I think, and they're, oh, um, yeah, I used the word I think love comes from here and then these two you can see I pretty much and I had some um, Michaels <coughs> embellishments that I almost used all of it this all these pieces come from the Michaels embellishment and this is from the mammy what is left so I used pretty much everything because I had I decorated my project all the way through yes I did and I pretty much you this is the paper pad that I've been working with I've only got two sh full sheets left and I can't, hadn't figured out how I wanted to cut these because I'm gonna make cards and then there's some few scraps and that's it and one cutout sheet is left so I have two four sheets of paper and two cutout sheets. These will be cards. And the 
like I said, the uh, scraps from my holographic paper. So yeah, that is it for that. And ta -da. this is my card. I never work in all red like this. I never. The word love is from the Mamby pick, uh, one of the Mamby packs. This key I told you came from that bling embellishment. There are the flowers. There is the bling. That heart is from my, that heart, it is a doily. It is from my um, stash. And then I cut out a piece using the Sizzix die. I cut this in, <clears throat> okay, what is that paper? I don't see it. Oh, here it is. I use this glitter paper and I cut out this, I cut out both of them because it was just simpler to put that on there. And so I cut out both of these um, labels and I use this one and I cut it into black just because I had to do something about some of that red. Honey, that red was taking over, but I, I love the way my cover came out. And I just used a um, basil piece of regular cardstock. My album is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. The ribbons are from my stash. It just needed something on those rings. And let's go into the cover and see I didn't do anything to the inside cover but I just love it I love that paper and then I you know me my albums are all about pictures so I have to leave space for pictures but this is from one, all of the embellishments I'm not gonna tell you about them I'm just gonna do the flip through but I love this little album you know, and I may put some bigger rings because I just really don't like it when it's open alligator mouth. So I think I might get some bigger rings and use. But for now, it's cool. And then it might be okay because you could display it sitting up. Or maybe not. Yeah, you could display it sitting up. So I am now going to do the flip through. And you've seen where all my embellishments come from. This is a die cut. Um, I think this is a Spellbinders die. It is. And when I was using it a week or a week or so ago, I just had some paper. I used Recollections. No, I use yeah. I used Recollections envelopes, the gold foil envelopes, and I just die cut it up. And so I had a lot of those left over, and I just used them in my album just for that because it was so much red and so much and the album is busy but I love it so there you go this is a die cut from my recollection um, this heart is from this die so yeah uh, I need to put those there I lost one of my dies out of that pack so I just use that to kind of break down the, the red and the pink. And then here I made a little folder. Had to use that um, punch board. So I punched my edges using that punch board. And I also punched the edges of my pages. Each page I did punch. I didn't want it to look like a file folder. So that's why I chose to do it that way. I use some of the scraps inside. I'm going to put pictures inside. I use Velcro. I love those little bitty Velcro. They don't pull. They aren't hard to So, And then this is just some of the scrap paper that I had left. And all of this paper is from the same pad. So like I said, more of that die cut. You and me. And then this pink uh, scallop circle was I have when I'm die cutting for especially the smaller items or I'm making embellishments or cutting words I, I have two boxes that I just throw everything in and if they're you know so I don't have a lot of scraps I'll just cut out more of whatever I'm cutting and then I can just go into my little goodie box 
and pull something out to use which I do regularly I do this and like I said I'm always pulling stuff out to use when I was cutting circles I cut extras I cut more hearts so I always have that to fall on you know so a lot of times I don't even have to cut things because I already have stuff cut so and I have two boxes that are full so I need to do more using and less cutting so I showed you the flip and then this is just like I said I just pull this out just because that's a lot of red uh, all right so this bicycle comes from the recollections embellishments and like I said more of that I made another flip as you can see, this was just a scrap, and this actually comes from another paper pad from a more, I think it is, from last year. So more of that holographic paper. So, and this is just one of the strips, the borders that came from that paper pad. Okay. My desk is a mess, but that's okay. I'm working. And this love came from that, me and my big ideas, and more of that. And I can just lay a picture here. Uh, this tag comes from one of those embellishment sets. Um, pictures here. I could actually probably put two of the two by three pictures here. Okay. And then there's that. All of these embellishments come from the same place, except for this strip, uh, border strip. I can't find the rest of these, but this is something that I bought years ago, and it had tickets and hearts, and these just happened to have been par partials, and they were there, so I just used them. And then this says, Love of My Life. Um... Now this paper comes from a different pad. That is from the Hobby Lobby pad that I recently bought just because I needed something. I didn't have any more scraps left. So that heart is from that package that I showed you. And then like I said, I kept all of the flip ups the same way. But these two pieces come from this pad. And I really love this pad, but they had the pad page of lips, three pages each, and then the eyelashes. So that came from there. All right. And then I made these envelopes. I have a envelope punch, and I was playing around when I was working on some other projects. And of course, I made um, several extras more of that strip. This is another die cut from my uh, box there. This came from the Michaels, the Recollections Embellishment Kit. I really like this paper because this page could have been used for anything. And then this is my last page. It says sealed with a kiss. So I just used the lip um, and I can just put picture and I can actually put a picture over the part of this too so this page could have two pictures and then that's just my back cover and that's the outside back cover so this page could actually this cups insides could actually be used for pictures if you want and then that's just the back cover and like I said these ribbons come from my stash and that is my project. Oh, I love it. And I didn't think I would like all that red together, but with the black and a little silver, it kind of came out pretty good. So, that is my project. I want to thank you for stopping by. Please go by and check out Shantae because I don't think I said at the beginning that this is where Shantae and I challenge each other to do things. Well, our challenge, the real challenge this week was to use the tab punch because both of us had it. We just had to have it and had never used it. So that was the challenge. And we have put this challenge off for several months now because 
like I said, I just thought it was going to be difficult, and it wasn't. So if you have it, please use it. Uh, go by and check out Shantae. Her link will be in the block box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And please leave a comment in the box below. I really like to hear from you. Bye, everybody. Time to get this uploaded.